Hello, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac. Today, I made a cabinet door that goes in front of my clamp rack. Not really obscuring uh, my clamp rack all that much, but a place where I can actually show off some of the stickers that I've been given from some fellow woodworkers on YouTube. And I'm able to open it right up, access my clamps without any problem whatsoever. If you're actually interested in how I made it, follow along, check it out. So I started off rough cutting some walnut. This, uh, this entire project is made out of just some walnut I had. So one, one board made, made every bit of it. And I just was measuring to see if, to make sure this was gonna be wide enough that I could split it in half and actually make it out of this entire board. And, uh, and it, it was, so uh, I was just kind of roughly cutting it. I was cutting it about an inch and a half longer than what it needed to be. This board had an interesting knot in it that I kind of wanted to have as a feature in the center, so I went ahead and jointed one face of that to get it ready to send through the planer. Then the rest of the boards I split down the center to, to have already half the thickness, uh, mainly because it was over uh, six inches wide, which is wider than what my joiner could have handled. Uh, that's the reason for, for the first board, I actually had to joint the sides before I could even send it through the joiner. Then I ran everything through the planer, got it flat on both, both sides. Uh, I wasn't really too worried about how thick I got it. I wasn't really shooting for an actual thickness. And then on the table saw, I did have a specific width in mind for everything. Uh, I brought it close to the to the width right off the bat, probably within an eighth of an inch, and then I brought my fence in to the final width and rotated it and did my final cut. Uh, I tend to do that for just about all my cuts, uh, just just to get a nice clean pass because I tend to get a cleaner cut with my uh, table saw blade for nice long rip. Then here I come across that board that had the knot in it and I was kind of trying to center it so I was measuring to, to see where exactly I needed to set the fence to make the first cut just so it ended up centered and uh, made that first cut and then brought it in and I was realizing that basically the gripper was going to end up right in the path of the blade so I had to grab a different push stick to use for that one. Now cutting everything to the final length. This is where it's really handy just to have a uh, trash can right underneath, uh, right underneath me, right here at the table saw, because I'm able just to put, throw the cutoffs right there in the trash. Instead of off to the side or off to the floor or anything like that, I just toss the cutoffs right in the trash can right now. Right.
now getting the router table set up and uh, ready for uh, panel cutting bits. And I started the panel cutting with the side grain first. And in retrospect, I probably should have done end grain first just to uh, alleviate any tear out. Um, this is the first time I've actually used these panel cutting bits. Uh, so this was kind of just a trial run to see how these bits work. And uh, it was a learning experience with these panel cutting bits. But I think next time I'm going to try doing the end grain first to see how that works. Uh, all in all, they still came out great and I had very little tear out. So it wasn't that bad. But I started off with doing uh, the side grain first and I did about half the depth and then ended up going full depth so uh, just to give it a little bit of a break and then on the end grain I did half the depth and then went full depth and I realized it actually made a cleaner cut by going full depth right off the bat so for the rest of the cuts uh, after the first cut I went ahead and went full depth Panel glue up was actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it did take a little bit of time to kind of tap everything into place. Uh, the plexiglass, I ended up uh, kind of lifting the protective coating off of the end about an inch or so all the way around uh, and left the protective coating for the most part on the, on the rest of it just to keep from scratching it up and uh, got it ready. So just kind of glued it up and clamped, it in, clamped everything into place just a little bit of tapping to make sure everything ended up square uh, and wiped up whatever glue I could and flipped it over and put on clamps on both sides just to make sure it didn't end up bowing on me but it turned out pretty good for a finish I ended up going with uh, Danish oil just brushed it on and I was very liberal with the uh, the amount of Danish oil I put in there and after it dried for a little bit I ended up going ahead and applying a second coat and that's pretty much all I did with it I just did the the two coats and it came out looking looking pretty good so I was very happy with it and I measured here to uh, put on some hinges and these were some hinges that I had just lying around and uh, I used some self centering a self-centering drill bit to get a uh, pilot hole started for the screws and screw those in and got it ready and what I liked about these hinges is uh, it actually had screws on the sides and the back so uh, it gave a little bit of support on both sides so for such a large door I didn't really want it to have only screws going into the side and with it going having screws going into the side and the back and it just seemed seemed like it was a little stronger okay another project under wraps and I enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well so it doesn't really obscure the uh, actual clamp rack itself all that much but it actually brings the stickers that I've been getting from other fellow YouTube woodworkers out there to the forefront of some of my videos and I'm able to kind of advertise for them a little bit but I'm able to open it right up access my clamps without any problems whatsoever and uh, I think it looks pretty good so I'm very happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, if you haven't seen some of my other videos definitely check some of those out if you haven't subscribed already Hit that subscribe button. I've got many more videos coming and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching what you've already watched already and I hope you have a great day and God bless.